Let's be smart about this. I don't want to just cut any corners. The moon is a treacherous place with some sweet jumps. Let's fucking send it. Ah, we can't jump. Have you ever thought about the fact, though, that like sending these rovers out to Mars and stuff? These frames are dipping a little bit here. But, like, um. I don't want to overstate. I was going to say millions of miles. Very, very, very far away from Earth, right? Think about an RC car, right? And like you're driving around, you hit like a little bump, and the and the car like flips over. It's like, well, shit. I'll just go over and uh, flip it back over. You know, it's fine. But like, or like it gets stuck on a rock or something, and that's on like paved streets. You know, think of a oh no no no, think of like a, a an environment that's not at all terraformed to be you know, fit for human navigation or little RC car navigation. And you're not able to just go and flip the RC car back over. You can't just, like, nudge it off of a big rock. You make one wrong move, by the smallest miscalculation on a bad move, and literally billions of dollars down the drain. It's, yeah, true. Just hold X. It'll flip back over. <laughs> How do you, like, even just controlling anything, like an RC thing on terrain like that, it's hard enough, but that you can have no influence whatsoever on, uh, on it, like, physically, adds so much room for things to just go terribly wrong. Can we get out? Let's go. Ooh, no oxygen? Okay. Oh, I like the timer there. Let me know. Very nice. Okay. There you see up there. Interact. Interface. Let's see what we have uh, in here. We should be fine. I mean, two. Oh, we got oxygen. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, I see. Okay, running uses more oxygen. I see. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. But also, what's around here? There's got to be something. <gasps> oxygen, let's go. Laser beam. Fantastic. Here's oxygen to replenish the oxygen that you used getting over here. What a great Easter egg. <laughs> Oh, I see some oxygen right there, too. What if you just, like... Let's go. Good. <clears throat> Hello there. Seat for climbing. I shall climb. I reached for my Cheez Its, but I forgot that I moved them back there. Yo. Holy shit. Probably the big shiny thing in the sky? No. Probably somewhere over here then. Maybe one of these? Probably not. Who moved this? And why? There we go. What if I just like fucking destroyed it? It just crumbled to pieces? That would be kind of awkward. Kind of weird. That'd be fucking cool looking, but uh, 
probably pretty counterproductive to my uh, my directive here, if I'm being honest. Glad that wasn't the case. Now we're on to moon site number two. Honestly, I bet we can do this without grabbing any oxygen. <clears throat> the speed run. See, but this rover here, this one's got the fucking the moves. Not worried at all. Yeah, just casually, you know, it's a it's a a mild Tuesday. Destroying the giant the largest man-made structure ever created. Off we go. So, in theory, one would think that perhaps after activating or aiming the second um, satellite, then maybe we'll be good to. Uh... I love how he runs. Can we take a second? The running animation in Zero G looks very nice. It doesn't just look like running, but extended. It looks like less gravity running, and I appreciate that. I goofed. Okay, we're good. Maybe I should have gotten the oxygen. Here we go. Um, but what would assume after we do this, that hopefully we get energy back to Earth. But I'm assuming there are probably some other systems that need to be functioning as well. That might not be functioning right now, I'm being honest. But I had to take a guess. Getting some good local power. Fortuna, is that you out there? God, I hope that's true. Yep. We saw what happened at Pearson. I thought you were... But just now, we detected activity in the MPT network. We haven't seen that in years. It seems to have been a local power transmission, isolated from the power source at the Tombo facility. Something must be wrong at the reactor there. Tombo isn't close, though. Traveling by foot would be suicide. Good thing I've got Perhaps this rover. find another means of transportation inside Moon Hub. I hope to. Let's see. I mean, I figured we could just take this, but the objective has brought me to here. Let's at least, let's be, you know, put things back the way we found them. There we go. Goal 30 point turn. I'll even take it one step further. Put this bit on here. Oh, maybe not. I was going to try and raise it on the uh, little risers. But I don't think this, uh, I don't think this little station has that capacity. No, it can. You hate to see it. Alright. Moon base. Let's figure this out. Moon hub. 
Bro, y'all remember the game Alien Isolation though? I played it on stream a long time ago. Shit was nuts. Absolutely insane. Holy shit. What a fucking game. Woo! Well. The monorail. Offline. Let's power it. So whatever happened in Tombo, Earth was not made aware. Got some ASC spots here. Oh god, we got the power going. Okay, MPT. Oh, it's his speech. Today, we find ourselves at a crossroads. The catastrophic events that have unfolded at the Tombo facility have opened our eyes to a truth that cannot be denied. We have lost friends, colleagues. Our fellow colonists gave their life for a hopeless cause, for a dying planet that we could never sustain. We used to call it home, our pale blue dot. But the Earth we know today is a withered husk, a shadow of its former self. The MPT chained us to a barren rock. But no more. All of you gathered here are survivors. You're here because you're mankind's strongest, the smartest, the brightest. Together, we will dare to leap and risk greatness. Start a new age of discovery. Like our ancestors, that fateful moment, they first set out to explore new worlds. We can turn back and confine ourselves to a dying planet. Or we can look outward. Now is the time to act. Make your decision and make it now. A new beginning dawns for humanity. She's up there like, what the fuck? Today. This is outward speech and speech held before the lure colonists. William MacArthur pays his respects to the casualties of recent of a recent unreported catastrophe at the Tombow facility. The house is the unrealistic expe expectancies. The WSA, that's like the null space power force that's been you know, operating from Earth <clears throat> and offers an al alternate route to a prosperous future for humanity outward. 23rd of September zero minutes before the blackout. So I'm still, I really, I want to see the, I want to be in the room where it happened. Show me the moment when the blackout happened. What happened? Time about 24. Come on. The monorail is now powered. Tombo. What was that speech all about? MacArthur can't decide this on his own now, can he? Can he? We don't call the shots here, okay? Now help me out with this stuff. Put that down, Frank. Don't you know what helium is for? Don't you think it's strange it's here instead of next to the reactor it's supposed to power? Of course I do. It's just a... Just what? Should we accept everything they say? Do you even realize what the consequences are if we leave while the MPT is offline? What choice do we have? What do we really have to go back to? Floods, dust storms, blazing heat? I'm done. The council's giving us a second chance and I'm not wasting it. Now I'm done talking. Just give me a hand. Shortly after MacArthur's speech, Lunar Colonists make final preparations to carry out MacArthur's outward plans. Not all agree that it is the right course of action, but while some protest out of concerns over Earth's fate, others perceive wisdom in MacArthur's words. September, two hours after the blackout. Well, not much we can do now. <clears throat> I guess not, Draz. Because you think they need some sort of like self-sustaining method of getting food, perhaps? 
but alas. Were they growing food? Growing fruits or something? Some crops? This is Sarah Baker, lead engineer at Pearson Space Station. I was sent to investigate the blackout together with station mechanic Rolf Robertson. I was attacked by an AZ unit and lost consciousness. The reasons for this attack remain unclear. True, Draz, exactly. Partner has left, and I am unable to contact Pearson Space Station or any of the other facilities. I'm going to cross the frontier now, passing Copernicus Outpost 1. Oh to get to Tombo and try to figure out what caused the MPT failure. Whoever finds this, please try to contact me. Alex, end recording. Oh. Okay, so this is where she, well, she said she was going past that post one. Access to the monorail terminal. We'll do. I'll try at least. Oh, let me out. Let me out. There we go. Ooh, okay. We got a code to figure out. Space Tech, Space Tech Magazine Helium on the Moon. Essential to humanity's survival on Earth. Portrait of a pioneer, science and sacrifices. In this summer edition, we sit down with the pioneering architect and Lunar Council member, Dr. Isaac Johansson, to highlight the many obstacles and triumphs of developing the MPT. It's tr true, Draz. Like they're trying to talk about leaving Earth behind. Like, you know, they need, you know, Earth needs us. Why don't we just leave? Maybe they need Earth too. Copernicus One colonists, this is an evacuation. The reactor at Tombo has suffered a critical malfunction. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Whoa, calm down. Who sent you? We're here on official orders of the Lunar Council. The Lunar Council? Frank, do you see anything strange happening across the MPT network? Mm, I've got nothing out of the ordinary. Tombo seems fine to me. Perhaps you could explain a bit more first. This is for your own safety. The situation will be explained by the council when all colonists arrive at Moon Hub. So, MacArthur calls the shots now, huh? We don't have time for this. Just take them. What? Get oh. your hands off me! It's okay, fuck it, whatever. Evacuation crew yeah. to MacArthur, we're progressing to stage two. Outpost crew and the package are on their way to Moon Hub. We didn't receive any word from the others at Reinhold, though. Good work, Evac. Wait for them to pass Outpost 1. Contact me again when the second evacuation crew arrives. Over and out. Reinhold, this first time that we heard that, we saw it on a map. One wonder what more might be uh, going on there. Guess it seems they could not get in contact with them at first. Damn, okay, lots of codes. But okay, so that kind of confirms ish some suspicions with Tom uh, Tombo. Maybe there wasn't even a meltdown at all at Tombo. Pearson Station Engineer Sarah Baker again. I traveled to this outpost from Moonhub, where I was sent to investigate the blackout together with my expedition partner. Moonhub was completely deserted when we arrived, and we were unable to bring the MPT back online. We got separated and lost contact. I'm traveling towards Tombo alone to continue my investigation. The only lead I have is that something has happened at the reactor facility. The entrance to the monorail station here is blocked, so I'll have to find another way to cross the landscape. It's worth a shot. True, Draz. Okay, we can move this. Oh. Lasers? How far do you reach? Not far enough. Maybe with the la not ladder, what is it called? Stairs. If I can laser that, I can get my ASE in there. There we go. 
All right. ASE, get in there. Yeah, I bet y'all forgot my ASE could do this, huh? Homeboy's moving. In a second, hopefully. Oh, 1881. All right. This though. Nice. Okay, that's where we came from. Yes. Okay, 1881. Is what we're looking for. Also. All right. Okay, that's where we to get in there. Okay, I see. I see. All right. Back up we go. One or two. No. I was wondering if I could use the, uh, what's it called? The numbers on my keyboard. Put that in. Okay, what were you saying? <clears throat> Hi, Edgar. Everything alright at Reinhold? You asked me to let you know when MacArthur and Johansson would travel down to Tombow again. They just passed the station. I should be at Tombow soon. Hope this helps. Whatever, whatever it is you're trying to do. Okay, good, good luck. Frank, it's happening. I knew it. Three monorail trains left Tombow. One's headed to Hugens. The other two are going for Moon Hub. The first Moon Hub train should arrive at your station soon enough, but the second won't until I get some answers. This is the key, Frank. The key to understanding what the council's been planning for so long. I'm close. It's outward. <clears throat> um... Like, as in how we launched into space and the exploration? Yeah, this has been all one uh, continuous event from when we launched from Earth and uh, to this point that we're at now. But uh, most of the events that we're recounting are kind of centered around this whole blackout event. Okay. So we still need... I figured this would have told us... How uh, a code? For the uh, other place, yeah, like quite a day. <laughs> True. Uh, that may be the other side. We say it. Maybe maybe the one up here will say it actually, or maybe the they use the same code. They do. Perfect. Our station offline. Manual maintenance check. Maintenance unlocked. Alright. Powerful and abundantly present on the moon, Helium 3 was considered to be the key to solving humanity's energy crisis. That is. As it is both harvested and processed on the Tombow facility grounds, moving this resource away from the Tombow reactor is rarely allowed by the Lunar Council. Doesn't seem like there would be any reason to, unless they're uh, doing something big. Let's see what's going on. Evacuation crew to MacArthur. Helium package and Copernicus outpost one personnel have arrived in Moonhub, sir. Evac crew two is still nowhere in sight, though. We've been trying to reach them, but we're getting no response at all. How should we proceed? Seal the door and make your way to Muno. The fuel needs to be in place before we arrive with the Tombaugh evacuees. Sir, the other crew won't make it in time if I do that. They'll miss the launch. They know what they signed up for. Seal the door, now. Yes, sir. Well... So they left their other uh, crew behind. It seems like my homeboy can get in there. Yeah. I was wondering when they would have me do more of this. Okay. Seems to be a puzzle of some sort. Okay. 
I'm guessing we just need them to all be one color. Oh, okay, so I can just see what leads to where. Honestly, I suck at these. I usually just kind of brute force it. That is just those two. Oh, you know what? This can do these two. But then we're still going to be left with that one being yellow. I know it's just those two. Okay, none of them do any two that are next to each other, I would assume. It'd be too simple. So maybe we can do two that... No, we gotta, we gotta get it to where we're moving. Two of the same color at the same time. Oh, so that does those two right there. Oh, this does these far two. Can I get one that does the far one? What else does the far one? Two of them. Okay, that one has three that moves it, but this one has two that moves it. That was right there. I don't think there's anyone that does both the outer one. No, 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 right. This one does. So this one we can kind of control. Just, and then these two. Oh, we were so close. Because I could just cycle through these outer ones using this fourth. But we still need these ones to be the same before doing that. That does all three of those. Okay. So the one that does these two, this one does. That's yellow there. Which ones control that? That one, which also controls this one. And then this one, right, which also controls these three. I think I might want to do this. We might be here for a while. Okay, and then I think I want to do, actually, let me, let me do this. I want to change the outer one. Yeah, probably. Probably Draz. Sports Legend, good to see you. You here just in time? For me to figure this one out? Actually, I think I did. No, I came really close. Again. Because <laughs> this will... No, this doesn't. No, it hits all three of these. Damn it. Okay, so if I could just change that one. One of the outer one, maybe? So this does that. No, outer... It's that one, that one, and that one. This might be what I'm looking for. Yes, now this one can cycle through to blue. Let's go. One more. Perfect. Let's go. All right. Huge. Didn't even have time to make the popcorn. Nice. That's awesome. Hope uh, you have a good time with it, sports. Uh, looks like we're going up through here. All right, this is the, the door. We have to manually unlock. I think. Maybe not. It looked like it was. Well, maybe that was everything I needed to do, and then now I'm set. Maybe. Can you jump off the edge here? No. There's an Easter egg here, though. It's a gun! Nah. Oh, it's auction. Nice. I'll do that. Finally get to play Seuss Phone. Let's go. Huge. Okay, I think we might have done everything that we need to with that. Ooh, maybe I need to go here. The oxygen gun, if only. If only. I know traffic between Copernicus, Moonhub, and Tombow runs directly through this outpost. MacArthur's questionable orders to sabotage these cables heavily disrupt traffic from one base to the other, making Tombow and MTP reactor much harder to reach for Moonhub. That's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Sort of weird. But I'm guessing... I think this might be everything that we need to do. 
Because you already powered all that. So going out of here might have just been to get some intel. <clears throat> let's go back in. Actually, wait. Really quick. Nothing over here. Let's, let's go back in and try it. <clears throat> Perhaps. It looks like it is open, so we should be able to get in here. Duh. Over here. They, oh, that's definitely open. Let's go. Continue on. What's really crazy for me is story games that get kickstarted. Like, how do you... I don't know, if like gameplay concepts with like demos and stuff, I feel like it makes a lot more sense to kickstart than a story. Combo track access. So the fact that people believed Denied. in the story before they knew the story is great. Space operator offline. Consult operator on arrival in Rhinold Crater Base. Combo track oh. Switch tracks to avert fatal collision. How? Hey. Let's go. Too easy. Well, it seems like we're speeding up now. Who built this? Warning. Obstruction detected. Switch it's gonna tracks be a to avert fatal collision. Yeah. Monitor velocity critical. Activate brakes to slow down. F. I did it too late. We're dead. Please. Please. Nah, yeah. I was too late. I, I was thinking to be S, like to pull back. Was not. It was it was, it was F to enter rad with the brakes. 